Afternoon. Any Canadians in the audience? There we go. Who's heard of Scotiabank? So for those of you that haven't, Scotiabank is based in Canada, but we're in 55 countries across the world. We've got 90,000 employees, about 24 million customers. That's about the same number of people as there are in Canada as a whole. We've got big markets in Mexico, Peru, Chile, Colombia, and I'd like to think that we are the most technological bank you've never heard of. So I'd like to share some of our experiences on our cloud journey and reflect on some of the practices that we have found that actually work. We call this the cloud method. But if there's something that you take away and you forget everything else from my conversation with you today, it's this. Cloud is a method, not a location. We need to stop thinking about cloud in terms of where. Where are we putting our data? Where are we deploying our applications? And we need to start thinking about how we develop applications, how we modernize the organizations that we work with using the cloud and some other technologies. And so one of the critical ideas that I think we have become aware of is to try and avoid something that I call the two island problem. And maybe you have this too. Do any of you have a cloud program? Yes? If you don't, you may be at the wrong conference, by the way. But if you have a cloud program, that cloud program is getting applications into the cloud. But what's it modernizing? And what is that cloud program doing to solve some of the inherent, essentially systemic problems that you have within your organization? So in a financial services organization, this means things like highly fragmented data, probably years and years of legacy, many layers of APIs creating chaos and confusion. How do your cloud projects help that? How do you modernize your organization? Because in the end, if you have one island of fantastic 12-factor cloud apps on one side, and you then have a whole bunch of other stuff whose code base is older than I am, right? Not that old, but old, yeah? What have you actually done to your organization? And so for us, the critical finding is when we are doing cloud programs, when we are taking our um, uh, resources and our projects and applying them uh, across our major markets, such as Mexico, Peru, Chile, Colombia, how can we be using those projects to modernize and solve inherent problems within the organization? And so you can think of this metaphorically, I suppose, as building a bridge building a bridge between these two islands, the islands of the old and the, the legacy kind of technologies that you need to be modernizing, and then the islands of the new, the highly scalable, dynamic, elastic environment that we, that we invest in when we invest in cloud. So how do we do this? Well, one of the things that we've developed, and we're going to be making an exciting announcement about it today as well, is a product called Accelerator. What Accelerator is, is essentially a software development pipeline. And what this software development pipeline does is it takes all of the steps that you need to safely deliver and deploy code to production. And it creates this abstraction layer and this interface to all of the tools, such as source code repositories, artifact repositories, security scanning tools, which are super important in our business, and all of the other tools that you need. But it's this single pipeline that we use for both cloud native apps as well as non-cloud native apps. So this convergence to a single pipeline, a single way of actually getting to production, means that what we can also do is we can achieve what I believe is the fundamental benefit of cloud, and that is being able to deliver change faster. Because if you buy the premise that cloud should be modernizing your organization, and if you buy the premise that just putting stuff on the cloud because it happens to be shiny and Google gives out great swag, what are we achieving if we are not using that opportunity to continually use every single opportunity we push code to production to also be solving and modernizing the rest of the organization? And so what this accelerator pipeline really does is it allows us to push change. And pushing change means new features for our customers, it means a continual rolling improvement to 
the continual enforcement of security policies across the whole organization, but it also means that with every single project that we are rolling out, we are continually refactoring and improving our API landscape and our mesh. We're continually moving and migrating our databases. Why? Because we have this single way of controlling that. So the control plane of cloud is the development pipeline you use to get to cloud. And this has been a key lesson for us. So cloud is a method. This is the method we're talking about. How are you getting to cloud? How are you pushing the changes continually and at high speed? And so something that is really important, though, about this pipeline is actually that people are hard. And in driving change in a large organization, there are some engineering challenges that we are all facing and that we all have to work on. But there's so much cultural change. There's so much cultural change that we have to think about a new way of organizing, a new way of creating teams, a new kind of trust and relationship between our business stakeholders and the technology teams. Now, what this single consolidated pipeline really does is it removes the easy to automate, the obvious tasks that we require every single team to get right. It removes that from the conversation. And it allows us to focus and allows our engineers to focus on delivering real value. And it allows us to also then focus more time on helping our engineers operate and organize in an agile manner. And so we've made a huge amount of investment in this kind of technology. And as I said, the accelerator product is what has been the result of this. Now, we're also committed to being more like a software company. The organization that I run at Scotiabank is called the Platform Organization. We're like a little software company inside Scotiabank. And we're hiring, by the way. And it's not that cold in Canada. But this little software company 100% believes in the brains and the talent in this room and other rooms like it, which is why we're announcing today the open sourcing of a component of the Accelerator framework. This is just the start. You will see continual improvement and far more pushes of open source software within the Accelerator framework going forward. We would love for you to participate with us, help us make this better. Um, because truly, if we get this right, if we build this bridge between the two islands, we all win. So I invite you to check it out on GitHub and come and work with us. Thank you.